Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prem, and today I will show you how we can make objects float on water in Blender easily. So now, without any further ado, let's start the video. So here I'm using Blender 3.4.1. Nice. So first of all, let's create a plane here. So go to this Add Mesh, select a plane. So now, being selected this plane, come to this Modifier Options, Add Modifier, and Add Ocean Modifier. So we got our instant ocean ready. So in order to animate this ocean, we need to play the value of this step. So be on the first frame, add a keyframe for this time value. Move to the last frame and change this time value to 25 or 50 depending upon your choice. So now, if I play this, we will have some animation here. So now press A on the keyboard to select both the keyframes. Press T and change it to linear. Now the speed will be same from starting to end. Nice. So if you want to increase the rails, you can come to here and you can increase the scale count. So here you can see the scale rails will be increased. So I will leave this to 1 or else I will reduce this to 0.5 only. I don't want that much movement. And now go to this add once again, mesh add plane here. Press S and increase the scaling. And let's place the plane here. Now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode or else you can go change it from here. Now press A to select all the vertices. Right click subdivide. And here subdivisions, I will increase this to 50. Okay. So now being selected all these vertices, if the vertices are not selected, press A to select once again. Come to this object data properties. In vertex group, click on this plus icon. And let me rename this as pins here. And assign all those vertex to this pin group. Okay. Just click on this assign. And again, press tab to exit this edit mode. So now select the plane once again, come to this modifier options, add modifier and add string grab modifier. In target, we need to select the ocean. Now if I play this, we can see we got our plane floating on the ocean. So let's rename this here. So let's pause it and rename this as string grab and let's rename this as ocean. Nice. So here I will be using a boat model which I have downloaded from Sketchup. Download link in the description if you want to use the same or else you can use any object. So go to this file, import, it is a GLTF file. So let's select this GLTF and here I got the file and import. Now you can see we got that file. So in order to make this work properly, we need to have this mesh to be single. So if I select this, this got multiple meshes, right? So let's join them. So select all the meshes here. Press Ctrl plus J to join. And one more thing is we want our anchor point or pivot point to be centered. So if I select this, you can see it is at here, right? So go to this object, set origin, origin to join it. Now it is moved to here. So now being selected this ship, come to this constraint properties here. Now we need to copy location and rotation of this shrink wrap plane to this boat so that it floats on this plane. So click on this add object constraint, copy location. So in target, we'll be selecting the string grab. So from here on, we can select. So let me select this string grab. And in vertex group, select the pins which we have created. So here you can see we got our boat on the location of the string grab. So here it is a bit inside the ocean. That is because of this pivot point. So let's adjust that one. So press B for side view. So being selected this ship, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. G, Z and move it here. And also let's bring it here. So let it be here like this. Now again press tab to exit this edit mode. Now the pivot point is at this point. Nice. So now if I play this, you can see we got this location moment. In the same way we need to copy the rotation of this ring wrap also. So again go to this add constraint object. Copy rotation. So in target, again we need to select this ring wrap. And in vertex group we need to select the pin. It is rotated a bit, so it's okay, no problem. If you want to rotate this, you can rotate that one. But now, if I play this, you can see we got our object floating on the ocean. So we can hide out this ring grab in viewport and also in render so that it will not render in our render. So now, let's see how we can add material onto this ocean. So if I move on to this material viewport, currently there is no material applied. So select this ocean plane, add material, click on this add material. Add new material here. So let's split this window. Okay, let it be here like this. Okay. So let's change this to shader editor. So select the shader editor here. So we got this principal BSDF, right? So base color, I will change this to blue. Or else, okay, let it be this color. 
and here we need to add some nodes to get the foam so by the way let's add enable foam so being selected this plane come to this modify properties scroll down and enable this foam option so expand this one so data layer we need to rename this one you can give any name you like so simply i'll give you this as foam okay so after that let's come to this shader editor now we need to add some nodes so go to this add search search for mix shader select this and place this in between and later add emission so shift a search emission let's zoom it here so connect this emission to shader and after that we need to add attribute node so go to this add search attribute so select this attribute node and let's place this here bring it here now we can add color to color so in this you can see so in this it is asking for name right we need to add the same data layer name so i will select i will copy this form name and i will paste this here now we will have some form here visible so here you can see we are getting this visible this is a floor resolution that's why it is not visible clearly if you increase the resolution this will be proper so if you want to add any color ramp to increase the strength you can do that so let's again go to this add search search for color ramp and place it here and let's bring this value a bit down to make it a bit strength so now you can see the difference here now we got the material on this portion so let's collapse this window so if you want to increase the resolution select this plane come to this modifiers once again so here you can see we got the resolution option rate if i increase this let's increase this to 15 you can see we are getting the resolution better so this is for viewport and this is for render so for render i will keep it like 30 and per viewport let it be 15 only if you want to make it bit better so select the plane come to this meter property scroll down enable screen space reflections and let's increase the value to 0.1 a bit so if i move on to this render viewport so currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so let's add an hdra so click on this world properties color environment texture so from here we can select any hdra so here i will be selecting this hdra select it and open image now we got this light in the scene so enable ambient occlusion and distance let it be five enable screen space reflections and reflections also and if you don't want to have this background visible here like this we can turn off that so come to this film options and turn it off if you don't want it okay so now here you can see we got our boat floating in this ocean here so in this way we can add objects onto this ocean easily by using this method so hope you guys have learned something new from this if you learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye